Hi and welcome to another video. In this video, I will be talking about the YY diagram. It's one of the problem solving technique that we use it to dig deep into any problem. And this is a simple uh, technique that we use it to, again, to prob for problem solving. This technique is used by asking why five times. We need to ask why five times. Why, why diagram organize the thinking of a problem solving group and illustrate a chain of symptoms leading to the true cause of the problem. So once you go, once you ask these five whys, you will be into uh, a systematic um, uh, in your mind and that will take you into a sequence of chains, the chain of symptoms that will help you to reach to the cause of a problem. At the end of a session, like whenever you have a YY diagram session and you, uh, and you created the Y diagram, uh, it should be possible to make a positively worded, uh, straightforward statement defining the true problem to be investigated. YY diagram flow from the left to the right. And I will show you an example on how to do this YY diagram. The diagram starts uh, on the left with a statement of the problem to be solved. So on the left side, we put the problem and now we, uh, we need to solve this problem. And then the group will ask why this problem is happening. And the responses will be statement of the causes that the group believes contribute to the problem under discussion. So we said, this is the problem. Why this problem happened? This problem happened because of this. And then then we ask the same question, why this second sub-cause happened? And you say, this has happened because of this and so on. We'll take an example here in just a second. The causes should be written on the diagram as a single clear statement. Why statements should be supported by facts as much as possible and not by uh, hearsay or unfounded uh, uh, opinions. So it's not gonna be on uh, opinion. It just should be based on a fact. And this is the best way for making the decision. Use the fact to make a decision. This investigation is continued through as many level as needed until a root cause is found for each problem. So you could just, it could be, yes, we say five whys, but maybe within, you know, the first three whys, you could figure out the problem and that would be the end of it. Maybe you need another 10 whys to ask yourself 10, why 10 times in order to find it, or it could be as many as you need, as long as you you could continue to find the problem. The ending point indicates area that need to be addressed to solve. So that would be the end point to, will after using this technique, that will give you to the end point where this problem needs to be solved. And that's the original problem. These become the actions the company must take to address the situation. All right, here's an example. Uh, here is a good example to apply the five whys. So we have a problem. Failures from supplier A are twice the industry average. So, okay. So we have an issue with the failures from that particular supplier and it's double the average, you know, the, the average of these failures are double. So we asked why. We need to ask why. Because there is an excessive damage in transit. Oh, okay. But why is that? So we ask another, the second why, we ask why is that happening? Why there is an excess damage in the transit? Because packaging is insufficient. You ask another why, why the packaging is insufficient? Because packaging specification are incomplete. We ask again, why the packaging specifications are incomplete? because there are no technical specification for packaging available. Why is that? Okay, now we stopped right there. That is the real root problem. That's the real root cause of the problem. So what we need to do in order to solve that, we have to go and establish the specification for the packaging and that would help to uh, uh, reach to the solution. And that will make it more productive and more efficient. All right, that would be the end of it. And I will move to another uh, tool, which is the histogram, but that's for another video.